Let's take out our phonics folders. We're going to look at our alphabet strips. Today I just want you to count the letters with me. We're just, um, we're going to be almost mathematicians and, and go ahead and count those and see how many letters are in our alphabet. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's thirteen on this side. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we just proved that there are 26 letters in our alphabet. Now, let's find the vowels. And what's really easy about on this strip is the vowels are red. So we have apple, a, but that letter also says acorn, a, cake, a, and it's also in banana. So you'll, you'll learn in first grade that it also makes the ah sound too, okay? Then we go over here to the elephant. That letter is red, elephant, eh. That is another vowel, so it makes more than one sound. We have elephant, eh, equal e, concrete e. Sometimes the e goes silent too, and we're gonna be learning about that later in the year. We're gonna go to the letter i now. We have inch, i. It's also a vowel. It um, makes also the long I sound as in icicle I or hide I. Let's flip our strip over, our next vowel. So we have three on that side, there's two on this side, and two, three plus two altogether is one, two, three, four, five. So five vowels. We have the O, letter O says octopus A, ah, but it also says overall O, hose O. And then the last one here is U. So U can say umbrella A, uh, it can say unicorn U, or it can also say cube U, okay? So the vowels make more than one sound, okay? So set that aside, go ahead and put that back in your folder. We'll go ahead and um, work on our Saxon worksheet today. And we are focusing on the letter H, hat, and, um, we're also going to review together the letters that we've already learned. Okay, so at the top of the page, go ahead and write your name. You can get started on that. I'll do mine here. I'm gonna put a finger space. So when you're writing, you put a finger space in between words, words and numbers, um, words in a sentence, okay? All right, so pause if you need some more time and then press play to rejoin us, please. Okay, and we're on worksheet 16. It's the top of the page here. Okay, so um, this is hat, and this is a capital H and a lowercase h. So let's write that on number one here together. Hat, capital H, two lines and connect in the lowercase h. Remember that lowercase h? Case H is nice and tall. It doesn't want to be short like an N, okay? Then we'll do our second letter, which is lion O, lion O, and we write that with a capital L and a lowercase L. Then we're going to go to our octopus A, octopus A, we write that with a capital O and a lowercase O. And then finally, we're going to do our goat G sound, goat G. We write that with a capital G and a lowercase g. Okay, so in the box, what you're going to do today is you're going to circle the capital H's or uppercase H and the lowercase H. So this is a, a pool party for only the letter H today. So only the letters that make the sound like hat. So the L needs to go to a different party the lowercase o. Here we have a lowercase h, so we this one makes the h sound so it could stay in this pool today. Lowercase l we're going to cross out. Lowercase h we can circle. Capital H we can circle. Lowercase l cross out. Capital H. H. Lowercase h. H. N not a capital O, not a capital G, not a lowercase g. Not a capital L, not a capital O, but yes, we can keep this capital H. 
So we have all together in our pool today, one, two, three, four, five, six letters. Three of them are our capital H's and three of them are the lowercase h's. Okay, so let's go ahead now and turn to the back side and we're simply going to code our words and then connect them to their pictures. Okay, so let's go ahead and do number five at the top. H -uh -g, hog. Okay, so how are we going to code that word? We need to code the vowel, which is the O, with a breathe, which is kind of a little smiley. Why? Because it is a vowel followed by a consonant and it's making the short sound ah. So that means we have to say ah when we read that. So there's the word hog, and we're going to connect that to the picture of the hog, right? Let's go to number six. Sound that out. Use our sounds. Ol, ah, g, log, log. And where's the vowel? The vowel is our o here. We're going to code that with a breathe. Why? Because it is the short vowel sound, and it's followed by the consonant. In this case, that's a G. Log and hog are also rhyming words. We're going to connect that to that picture there. Um, go ahead and give yourself your exit ticket. And before you go, I'm going to just show you the rule. So I didn't make it up. There is a real rule right here that says at the top, a vowel followed by a consonant is short, and you code it with a brief. So the five vowels are here. A, A, O, A, I, I, I. U, uh, e, eh, and you see all of those letters have a breathe above them because they are a vowel followed by a consonant. Okay? All right, so go ahead and clean up, put that away, and get ready for your next phonics lessons now. Good job, boys and girls.